Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on RxJS. In the previous video we have seen how to use from function to create an observable. In this video we are going to explore interval function. Now those who have already played with JavaScript they might be aware of a function called as set interval. Our interval function also works in the similar manner. It accepts number of milliseconds but instead of calling a callback function it actually emits a value. Now without wasting any further time let's go ahead and start coding. So I am inside Visual Studio code and I have created a function called as create interval. This is getting invoked from the ng on init method. Inside this let's just call our interval function. Interval function is available from the rxjs library. Now this requires an input the number of milliseconds. So we'll just pass 1000 as a value. This means after every one second it is going to emit a value. Now if you remember in the previous video I said if you are going to create an observable you need to subscribe to it. If you are not going to subscribe to it it is of no use. So let's just call a subscribe function on top of that and we will receive a value which we are going to just update into our div container. Now let me show you the screen as well. So this is this uh, particular page that we have. So we have interval as a label and then there is a placeholder wherein we are going to display our interval value. Let me just go back to Visual Studio code. Now inside this we are going to call or refer to our container. Now this is a uh, angular specific code that's why you will see this particular syntax. If you are not familiar with the angular don't worry about it. We are just going to refer to the div element and we are going to call the inner HTML property on top of that. And this property will have a value from our observable. So I'll just save the code and if we'll just go back to Chrome browser you will see that our label is now getting updated with the latest value and it will keep on updating. It is not going to stop. It is an infinite interval. We are not added any condition to it and that's why it is it will just keep on displaying the new values. Now let me go back to Visual Studio code and add some interesting function. So let's assume that you want to take only first five values from the interval and you want to stop after that. So there is a function called as dot pipe. This is very interesting function. Now think of pipe as an assembly line wherein you pass some input from one end. There is some processing that happens within the assembly line and then you get a different output. Something similar to the car assembly line. So pipe also works on the similar lines. Let me just add a function called as take while. Now take while is another function which is available from the RxJS wherein you can accept a value and then you can pass or create some condition which will be used in order to decide whether this particular value has to be consumed or not. So in our case since we want to consume only 5 values let's just add a condition as val should be less than 5. I will save this program if I'll go back to Chrome browser you will see that our values are now getting updated but it will stop at the value 4 and there will be no updates after that. That's what the magic of the take while. Let's go back and utilize one more function. Now instead of just taking the value as is I want to apply some expression on top of it. So how I can do that? Let's go ahead and add one more function called as map. So map is another function which is available from the RxJS wherein you receive the value and then you can change that value by using any expression or by calling some function or anything that you want to do. In our case we are just going to double the value so i'll just use a expression as val star 2 and this time if i'll just save the program so rather than getting the value as 0 1 2 3 4 we got the value as 0 2 4 6 8 so that was the beauty of the map function i will just wrap up the video out here with a promise that in the next video we are going to evaluate a simple assignment till then take care and build something